So worldwide, what do you think has been the weirdest urban legend of the last 20 years? Well, it's based on real life events, but it's not based on anything but strange, strange reality. Today we're going to be talking about the weird fear trend called debt by coconut. Yes, debt by coconut. Now, according to published reports over the last number of years, people are getting more scared by coconuts than ever before. Now, we all know that coconuts falling from their tree and striking individuals may cause serious injuries to the back, neck, shoulders, and head, and are sometimes fateful, fatal depending on the size of the individual, like a child. Now, following an 84 study on the injuries due to falling coconuts, exaggerated claims spread concerning the number of deaths by falling coconuts. Now, falling coconuts, according to urban legend, kill a few people a year. The legend gained momentum after 2002 work of a known expert on shark attacks it was characterized as saying that falling coconuts kill 150 people each year worldwide. Well, this statistic has often been contrasted with a number of shark-caused deaths per year, which is around five. So basically, they're saying, various published reports saying you're more likely to be hit by a coconut than eaten by a shark, but that's how the, the brain works in modern internet society. Now, concern about the risk of fatality due to falling coconuts led officials in Queensland to remove coconut trees from beaches in 2002. One newspaper dubbed coconuts the killer fruit. Historical reports of actual death by coconut nonetheless date back to the 1700s. Now, uh, coconut fruit can, trees can grow up to 100 feet tall with leaves uh, 20 feet long and uh, pinea 2 to 3 f uh, feet long. Older leaves will break away cleanly from the tree leaving a smooth trunk. While a mature and thriving tree can yield up to 75 coconuts per year, it is more common to get fewer than 30. A full-size coconut weighs about 3 pounds. Now, coconut palms are cultivated more than 80 countries with a total production of 61 million tons per year. Now, the origin of the death by coconut legend again was a research paper by uh, one Dr. Peter ba ba Barris titled Injuries Due to Fallen Coconuts, published in the Journal of Trauma, real publication, now known as the Journal of Trauma and Acute Care Surgery. In his paper, he observed that, Pap that in Papua New Guinea, where he was based, over a period of four years, 2.5% of, of trauma admissions were for those injured by fallen coconuts. None were fatal, but he mentioned two anecdotal reports of deaths, one several years before. That figure of two deaths went on to be misquoted as 150 worldwide, based on the assumption that other places would suffer a similar rate of falling coconut deaths. Now, in March 2012, he received an Ig Nobel Award, or Ig Nobel, Ig Nobel, from the Annals of Improbable Research in recognition of research that cannot or should not be replicated, it means it's bullshit. In response, response to his dubious distinction, he told the Canadian Medical Association Journal, when you're treating these injuries daily, it's not funny at all. Now, following the publication of his study, exaggerated claims about the number of deaths by coconut began to spread. Reports of death by coconut became so widespread that the Straight Dope, a newspaper column devoted to exposing myths, reported that it became officially an urban legend. Now, another writer, Joel Best, described the claim of widespread deaths as a journalistic equivalent of a contemporary legend. Now, the legend also gained momentum where, uh, when George H. Burgess, director of the International Shark Attack File, claimed that fallen coconuts kill 150 people worldwide each year and are more dangerous than sharks. Now, mainstream media over a number of years repeated that, uh, that line, you are more likely to be killed by a coconut than eaten by a shark. Well, uh, a, two, a 2001 study over a five-year period found all skull fractures for falling fruit were in children under the age of 10 because of the, mal the underdeveloped uh, brain or brain area of the child. Now, there has been death by falling coconut. It is quite lengthy. In 1777, King Tucci of Megea in the Cook Islands had a concubine of all people who died after being struck by a falling green nut. In 1833, four people died from falling coconuts in Sri Lanka. In February 43, a U.S. Marine was killed in his sleep when struck in the head by a falling coconut near Henderson Field on Guadalcanal. Now, on, on my uh, birthday, August 26, in 1952, a seven-month baby died when she was struck in the head by a coconut while being held by her mother in Singapore. 
In 66, a resident of Arabao, Papua New Guinea, was killed while leading lunch by a, beneath a coconut tree when struck in the face by a falling coconut. In July 73, a two-year-old girl was killed and around injured during a family picnic at uh, Kopiolani Beach Center near Diamond Head, Hawaii, when a cluster of 57 coconuts weighing more than 100 pounds fell from a tree. The incident was Hawaii's first recorded fatality from falling coconuts. In November 91, a mourner was killed by a falling coconut while attending a funeral at a cemetery in southern Sri Lanka. In April 2001, a resident of Vanuatu was killed by a falling coconut while seeking shelter from adverse weather conditions relating to Cyclone Soze. On August 15, 2001, in Kampong Tanjung Badag, Badang, Malaysia, 59-year-old Mamet Kundar was killed when a monkey used to harvest coconuts from trees dropped a coconut on his head. On the 1st of August 2002, in Rao uh, Payang, Malaysia, six-month-old Noel Emilia Zuleika Nasridin died after coconut fell into the child's crib and struck it. On September 26, 2003, in Rao Payang, Malaysia, 65-year-old Duraman Gomat was waiting to catch a bus. The wind became stronger and started to rain just before a coconut fell. In March 2009, 48-year-old Lunit Jankum in Nakhon Si Tamara province of Thailand was killed when a monkey used to harvest coconuts, fiercely kicked him down to his master, hitting his head. In May 2000, a one-and-a-half-month-old girl died in India when he was, she was killed by a falling coconut which struck her in the head during a religious ceremony outside her family's home. In August 2010, a 69-year-old man was killed by a coconut that fell from a 40-foot palm tree as he sat in a rocking chair outside his home in Melgar, Colombia. In 2013, a man in Colombo, Sri Lanka, was killed after a coconut fell in his head. Now, while the typical form of death by coconuts by trauma resulting from it falling from a tree under force of gravity, variations on the phenomena has also been reported. In December 23 in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, a man was killed while trying to crack open a coconut with the butt end of a loaded revolver. The gun discharged and a man was shot in the abdomen. What a way to go. One of the most unusual variations occurred in India in the 1930s. Newspapers across the world reported that a schoolboy in India had been killed by a magic or enchanted coconut. In an effort to determine who had taken a book from a classroom, an elementary school teacher in Harda Hali required each of his students to touch a coconut bearing a naman, a religious symbol. The teacher claimed that the one who took the book would face divine wrath upon touching the coconut. One student resisted but was forced to touch the coconut. He reportedly contracted a high fever, fell into delirium, and died within an hour. Now in April 83, a coconut was cited as a cause of death for a female goose beak whale. The husk from a coconut became large in its intestine, and the whale beached itself on a sandbar on Siesta Key, Florida. Now, in May 97, a report of death by coconut oil was published. The production line manager and a margarine factor in Kiev, Ukraine, drowned in a vat of coconut oil. His body was discovered soon after he was reported as missing. The police investigated to determine where he fell or was pushed into the coconut oil, and I know that for a fact that's still an open coal case. No pun intended. There was mention on... on, on the Russian national news many years ago. Now, other occurrences involving coconuts being used as deadly weapons include, in 1944, reports were published that Japanese troops were using coconut bombs in defending against the American invasion of Laeti. Colonel Alan, Fel Alan Feldman reported that the bombs were created by placing hand grenades and pickled acid inside, inside hollowed out coconuts. The coconuts were then sealed with wax, attached to a string, and thrown at American troops. In July 2004, a 55-year-old Sri Lankan man was killed when he was struck on the head by a coconut. Police concluded that the blow was not the result of a coconut falling from a tree, but rather had been sustained in a fight that developed after the victim invited a group of friends to his hut to enjoy a hooch party. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you. There have also been reports of deaths resulting from the collapse of coconut palm trees. These include... In April 92, an 81-year-old man was killed in Malaysia when he was pilled, pinned under the trunk of a coconut tree that had been uprooted by high winds. His family noted that he had been employed as a coconut plucker and had previously survived a fall from said tree. 
In May 2006, a man and a boy were killed by falling coconut palm trees during a tropical storm in the Philippines. In August 2011, a 56-year-old man was killed after an entire coconut tree toppled onto him while he was on a motorcycle in, uh, in Malaysia. In August 2020, a 37-year-old man died of severe head trauma after a coconut tree he was hired to help cut down fell on him. The incident occurred in a roadside gully near Panama Beach along the coastal road from Sun to Nia Chan, Thailand. Other reports cited the strength of the coconut uh, palm trees with saving the lives of persons who have been tied to the trees for safety during high wind or tsunami events. Now, deaths and injuries resulting from falling coconuts have been the subject of several legal proceedings that have been covered in the media. In 56, the city of Miami paid $300 to a woman after a coconut fell from a city-owned tree and struck her in the foot. In justifying the award, the city attorney explained that the city was allegedly on notice of the danger because a reasonable man would assume it was about to fall when it turns brown. In 77, a jury in Hawaii awarded $39,000 to a police officer who was struck by a falling coconut. The officer was hit in the head while removing fronds from a public sidewalk in Lahani, uh, Hawaii. The property owner was sued for failing to maintain the trees. Now, uh, falling coconut injuries uh, have been um, uh, resulted in, you know, a plot in Gilligan's Island. There's been satirical articles. I guess Keith Richards was allegedly hit by a coconut, but he said he was fell out of a tree that needed uh, uh, for a brain injury surgery. And of course, Donkey Kong has the uh, the main character throwing coconuts from overhead at the player. Now. Do I believe that people can get killed by coconuts? Well, anything's possible. If a coconut's up a 40-foot tree and there's a baby or whatever, it's like a rock, uh, really technically a rock falling. But if we've, not, if we've learned nothing but Roddy Piper attacking Jimmy, Jimmy Superfly Stuka, sometimes a coconut can be used for evil. It can be used for good, like, you know, uh, castaway. But do I believe that uh, coconuts are killing 150 people worldwide per year? No. Do I think it's an urban legend? Well, not really, because it's aspects of reality and fantasy. People want to believe what they want to believe. Like the old, uh, you know, legend that a beaver will uh, chew off his own balls and leave them for his potential killer. Uh, that doesn't work out. A beaver, a beaver would never do that. Uh, a Canadian would give you fifty dollars to to make you leave leave them alone, especially your Americans, but. That's not cutting off your balls. By the way, that's not a Roman legend. Canadians have offered money to people in the States to not to talk to them. That's a true story, by the way. So uh, if you ever meet a Canadian like me and we're not talking to you, we might slip you a 20 and say, thanks for not talking to me. Because when an American talks to a Canadian, no good will come of it. Because we've got to explain everything. Anyway, if you like what we're doing here with our uh, weird and wacky and uh, what do you call it? Book a list podcast. Let us know with a like, comment, and subscribe. If you've been hit by a coconut, let me know what uh, how it felt. And if you can't remember being hit by a coconut, listening to my podcast is is not uh, is not what you should be doing. Go to your local trauma center. Have a good day. Bye.